People who advocate for those with disabilities in New Hampshire say navigating the vaccination process has been extremely difficult for that population and their caregivers. With all of the inconsistencies on um, who qualifies, who's eligible, how to get that eligibility, what takes, what kind of proof do you need? Um, families are getting different messages. Lisa Bodwin from the group ABLE New Hampshire says it's understandable there will be gaps in the technical guidance on defining categories in the vaccine rollout, but feels the registration process is confusing. Kim Habib is the primary caregiver for her adult daughter, and neither one have been registered for a vaccine. I can't, I can't afford to be sick or call out because I'm her primary caregiver and parent. After the paid caregivers get to go home, I'm still on the clock. Officials say there are other obstacles for the disabled, like computer barriers and an inability to drive. State officials say they will work with anyone who has concerns about the registration process. We definitely appreciate the frustration of not just that population, but any population in New Hampshire that has maybe had trouble scheduling. And we're happy to reach out to those folks, work with them not just as an organization, but one-on-one. -on -one. Lisa Bodwin says that she wants the state to streamline the registration process with an eye on helping the disabled population. Putting live, Mandy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.